Friday, June 9th, Friday, June 9th, 1944. Dear Kitty, super news of the invasion. The Allies have taken Bayou, a small village on the French coast, and are now fighting for Cayenne. It's obvious that they intend to cut off the peninsula where Cherbourg lies. Every evening, war correspondents give news from the battlefront, telling us the difficulties, courage, and enthusiasm of the army. They manage to get hold of the most incredible stories. Also, some of the wounded, who are already back in England, again came to the microphone. The Air Force are up all the time in the spite of the miserable weather. We heard over the BBC that Churchill wanted to land with the troops on D-Day. However, Eisenhower and the other generals managed to get him out of that idea. Just think of it. What pluck he has for such an old man. He must be 70 at least. The excitement here has worn off a bit. Still, we're hoping that the war will be over at the end of this year. It'll be about time, too. Mrs. Van Dunn's grizzling is absolutely unbearable. Now she can't any longer drive us crazy over the invasion. She nags us the whole day long about the bad weather. It really would be nice to dump her in a bucket of cold water and put her up in the loft. The whole of the secret annex except Van Dunn and Peter have read the trilogy Hungarian Rhapsody. This book deals with the life history of the composer, virtuoso, and child prodigy, Frank Litzt. It is a very interesting book, but in my opinion, there is a bit too much about women in it. In his time, Litz was not only the greatest and most famous pianist, but also the greatest ladies' man, right up to the age of 70. He lived with the Duchess Marie de Agould, Princess Caroline son Wittgenstein, the dancer Lola Montez, the pianist Agnes Kingworth, Kingsworth, the pianist Sophie Mentor, Princess... Olga Janina, Baroness Olga Marga, the actress Lilia, what's her name, etc., etc. It is just endless. The parts of the book that deal with music and art are much more interesting. Among those mentions are Schumann, Clara Weick, Hector Berlitz, Johann Brahms, Beethoven, Joachim Richard Wagner, Hans van Bulo, uh, and others. I'll just read them. Anton Rubinstein, Frederick Chopin, Victor Hugo, Honore de Balaz, Hiller, Hamel, Sergeny, Rossini, Cherubini, Pagaini, and Mendelssohn, etc., etc. Liszt was personally a fine man, very generous and very modest about himself, though exceptionally vain. He helped everyone. His art was everything to him. He was mad about Konnick and about women. Could not bear to see tears. What is, was a gentleman? Would never refuse to do anyone a favor. Didn't care about money. Loved religious liberty and world freedom. Yours, Anne. That was Friday, June 9th, 1944. Don't forget to hit the uh, like and subscribe button. And tell your comments, what do you think about that?